Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about how to look expensive beauty hacks. You know these people that you meet that just ooze this like luxury energy out of them and they don't have to be wearing any brands or anything too expansive. It's just the way they hold themselves, small little details that's what I'm talking about. And today I wanna break it down. We start with the first half. Extend the life of your perfume. I know that you can agree with me that nothing gives the sense of luxury and expensiveness than someone that smells really good. You know when someone just walks by and you're like, what was that? It's a thing. And I feel like there's no better compliment than someone tells you, Wow, you smell really good. Look at Rihanna. If you Google her name, the second most searched thing is what's Rihanna's perfume because she is known to be the best smelling icon. So we do what Rihanna does, okay? We smell good. I have a little hack for you. Taking a non-scented body cream. So what I like to do is put a little bit of uh, my unscented lotion. It can also be Vaseline uh, on areas where I apply my perfume on and then I just add my perfume on top of the lotion and it does an amazing job to actually make it last all day. So when I walk by, Gary's like, whoa, did you just shower something? And I'm like, no, that's just how I smell. Keep your nails manicured. Uh, I know that it sounds so obvious, but you'll be surprised how many of us are out there walking around with chip nail polish. And you know what, I get it. Life gets busy, you have things to do. Manicure is not necessarily something you wanna think about. So, the way I like to play it is accepting the fact that they're not always gonna look perfect, but what I try to avoid is walking around with the chipped manicure that actually just really looks bad. Uh, so what I do is use neutral nail polish. Neutral nail polish is the best way to fake a good manicure. These are the kind of nail polishes that grow out without looking like a mess. It's also usually ones that you will have in your household. So in case you know you need a little bit of a quick little coat, you got it. Otherwise, I also love just using a sheer nail polish. Sometimes I'll take off my colored one. Uh, my nails don't look their best. So I'm just gonna put like a sheer coat and let them do their thing. Manicured nails make a huge, huge difference. Skip salon visit by washing your hair less. Now I know this is a little bit tricky, especially for us girls who like to work out. I work out between four to five times a week, so I get it, sweat gets in. But in order to maintain a healthy hair care routine, and to also not overstrip my hair and to also not strip my bank account with trips to the salon because I'm clueless when it comes to my hair. I love, love using dry shampoo. So first I wanna say a huge thank you to my favorite dry shampoo brand, Living Proof for sponsoring this portion of the video. So Living Proof came out uh, initially with their PhD dry shampoo, which is great, but now they decided to amp it up a little bit more, and they just came out with PhD Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo, which is just like a pow pow to what you want your dry shampoo to do. The Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo actually like resets the way your hair feels and looks and truly gives you that feel of a freshly washed hair. I love the smell and my scalp doesn't feel dry and clogged and also there's no like texture or residue which is very important for me because I'm the kind of girl that like rushes out of the house so I'll have you know white blotches of dry shampoo. Happened to me way too many times so I love Look for a dry shampoo that can support that kind of clumsiness, you know? So you get rid of any oiliness and odor and sweat and you get the softness, shine, and you can manage it still. Now the benefit of skipping washing days, like I try to wash my hair once a week. That's crazy, I know. Mm, it works for me. So the reason why you want to wash your hair less often is so you can avoid the damage and dryness it causes by overwashing and also help to keep your style, the styling of your hair for longer rather than using hot tools 
multiple times a week, which we want to avoid. If you guys are interested in trying out the PHD Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo, that you can find it at livingproof.com, also at Sephora and Ulta. So keep your eyebrows tamed. So it's so interesting because I feel like eyebrows truly became such an inseparable part of our aesthetic overall. Making sure your brows look tamed and beautiful and you can keep the rest of your face pretty bare. And you can even look at certain girls, like if on Instagram, a lot of girls don't really put too much makeup on and it's really all about the brows. So I personally love and make sure to use my uh, brow gel to tame my eyebrows and that really does such an amazing job with just kind of waking up your face. Also, if you have a very light hair, you can tint dye them or you can use henna to tint dye them. There's so many options out there, but it's amazing to see that once you start taking care of these, how everything else just looks, it just, it just works. Everything just flows. Never pop your pimples. Ugh. You want to avoid it. First of all, it will cause scarring. It actually spreads bacteria. Trust me, not worth it. Just let them be. The hack that I do like to use with helping with blemishes is hydrocolloid patches. They really help with healing it and also protecting it from any outside bacteria to keep inflating it and make it bigger and worse than it is. Uh, so highly, highly recommend in case you are not on that pimple train yet make your products do the most. I think this is probably the one beauty hack that I've been preaching since I started social media in like 2016. Make them do the most. You can get away with way fewer products and a small little makeup bag that would actually fit into any bag that you have for a little touch up that will do the most for you. So a few of the things that I love to do is using my bronzer as an eyeshadow, using a lipstick as a blush. Also, sometimes I love creating like a really nice spring look with even using a lipstick and adding it as an eyeshadow. These are just quick little tips to give a little bit of a mm, but also not continue spending your money on different products that are targeted to treat only one thing or to be one thing. There is no such thing, it doesn't exist. Believe that you are that girl. This is probably the most valuable lesson of it all. In order to look expensive, you wanna feel expensive. So I always, always recommend to really understand who you are, what you bring to the table, how amazingly unique and beautiful you are. And I think that that energy just grabs anyone's attention. So I know there are some days where we don't necessarily feel that energy of a bad girl. So sometimes you can cheat. Sometimes you can use, you know, material stuff to make you feel a certain way. I personally am a big believer in, you know, using colors of clothing to just make you, to lift up your mood and make you feel more confident. Wear your favorite pair of jeans, wear your favorite dress, wear whatever makes you feel like, all right, that's who I am. That's what I always, always preach and hopefully this is something that you can always uh, remind yourself whenever you feel like that girl energy is not there. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite beauty hacks for looking and feeling expensive. I will see you next time.